Well, we talk about physical fitness a lot, but what about your mental fitness and keeping your brain sharp? Our next guest is Dr. Kristen Willemeyer, and she's made it her mission to get people to think more about their minds and their brains and not just their brawn. Thank you for joining us. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. Yes. Thank you for the invitation. Of course. So, <laughs> Talk about what this means with brain fitness. What is it? Brain fitness is about keeping up with the health of your brain so we can age well, right? So we all worry about what happens when we get in our 60s, 70s, and 80s, right? Neurodegenerative diseases start in our 60s. That's when we get the diagnosis. But actually, cellularly, the degeneration starts in your 20s and 30s. Hmm. So, so let's start now, right? Well, we're young, yes. taking care of the health of our brain. So that's what I was going to ask you. So at what age should we be thinking about this? Am I too late? Should I have been thinking about this when I was a teenager? <laughs> I always say it's never too late. I okay. started back in my 20s when okay. I began studying okay. neuroscience. But one of the things that I study a lot of is concussions. So I've studied about concussions in professional athletes. Yeah. And why that's important is we've got a lot of children who are playing collision-based sports. Absolutely. So I want parents to actually think about the brain health of their children and that gets into what kind of foods they prepare so the yes. kind of foods we feed our kids um, nutrient support like omega-3 fatty acids um, making sure your children get enough sleep okay it's very important for your brain health so I always say it's never too late so we should be thinking about this for ourselves as adults and also for our kids who are just coming up. Yeah, they have a developing nervous system. Okay. So people don't know from birth to age 25 is when the brain goes through this developmental process. So we want to make sure that we support our brain. And again, that's lots of raw, uncooked foods, okay. clean fruits and vegetables. So really load up on the things that are going to protect our cells mm -hmm. and then start to eliminate some of the things. Um, and we all know, right, the packaged foods, the trans fats. Yes. It's just, it's being mindful and modeling great brain health for our kids mm -hmm. so that they can live into their 80s, 90s, and 100s. Yeah, and, and, and providing it for them as well. I think a lot of times as adults, we figured it out, like, oh, I need to eat more salads or I need to eat more fruit. But, you know, with the kids, yeah, give them some nuggets or give well, them some, we're I not mean, feeding them the same way. Even. When you were a child, were you eating broccoli? Well, I had to. My I was not. I, I know, they, they make you. I fed mine to the dog. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's really teaching them about the importance of fruits and vegetables when they're young because they'll carry these great brain habits um, with them as they age. Are there any other daily habits that we should be considering, not just what we're eating, but what we're doing? I mean, do I need to be breaking out my Rubik's Cube or doing mental ah. gymnastics? What, what should I do? Oh, there's so many great things. Well, we always talk about exercise, which is very important because we have 60,000 thousand miles of blood vessels in our body. I mean, that's yes. huge. And if you think about it, exercise helps release nitric oxide, which keeps those blood vessels um, able to dilate and yeah. get more blood flow to the brain. So ah. making sure you exercise and getting great sleep. Okay. So sleep is important. Yes. Do and you get neglected. enough hours? I'm probably wondering. Not. <laughs> Depends on the day, but probably not. Yeah. So our physical fitness is tied to our brain fitness. Absolutely. Actually, physical fitness can help support the growth of cells in the brain. So wow. that's a way to actually, we've, research has shown that you can increase gray matter in a region of the brain called the hippocampus, mm -hmm. which is important for learning and memory. So exercising when we're young, but keeping that going as we get older. Yeah, that's uh, perfect. I can yeah. listen to you all day. Where can we oh. get some What's more your information? Your, your website, You can go right? to my website yeah. at drwillemeyer.com. Okay. And, and maybe later on this year, we'll have a book coming out? Uh, yes, yes, I actually have it with an editor. So okay. thank you so Wonderful. much. Wonderful. Great. We'll definitely check it out. Thank you so much for being it. here. Such a pleasure. Of <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after the break. Stay tuned.